Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is Bradford City versus Walsall vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that'd be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button it's free to do so it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's game as well down in the comment section down below it's going to be a tough game today with both sides have had a very similar start to the season both teams winning two drawing two and losing two the only difference between the two sides is that Walsall have scored one more goal hopefully we are able to get back to winning ways in the league especially because we've struggled a little bit at home to break teams down granted we've still not conceded at home in the league but a lot of teams come in and put every man behind the ball and we can't break them down hopefully with the deadline day signings though of Dion Pereira and Tyrick Wright something that changes today I'm going to go with the score prediction of 1-0 to Bradford City I'm going to go with Scott Bank to get the goal for the Bantams make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well I shall see you all once team news out because it definitely will be interesting let's get into it Here's how we line up for today's game. Six changes from Tuesday. Jake Young keeps his place in the side after scoring a brace. Levi Sutton starts as well. I didn't think he had his greatest performance on Tuesday night, but he's back in the team once again. Players like Lee Angle not even making the squad. Gilead still not back from his injury as well. It's a very strong team. Dion Pereira and Tyreek Wright both on the bench as well. Hopefully we can get the win. Come on, City. Certainly not a great turnout from Walsall. Expected more considering it's about an hour and a half, two hours away. But fair play is always to those who have travelled. Come on, City.
just what Andy Cook does against Walsall again. It's totally against the run of play, but we take that.
then is thank you Harry Lewis. Harry Lewis has single-handedly won us the game today. He genuinely made four, maybe five world-class saves and I just cannot thank him enough. Thank you for the three points, Harry Lewis, because today we were we were really poor. We've asked all season for teams to come out and actually play, have a go, and that's what we got today. Walsall came, they didn't put every man behind the ball, which was fantastic to see a team actually want to come and play. I mean, their style of football wasn't the most prettiest to watch, you know, there was a lot of clogging and slogging, but it was effective at times, and unfortunately we have conceded our first goal. We start out with Andy Cook's goal, I mean, it's completely against run of play. Walsall have all of the chance, actually, we'll start with the penalty. Um, yeah, Critchell gets done and then brings him down. Mark Hughes seems to think it's not a penalty. I haven't seen the replay, but in real time, for me, I think it was a penalty. Great save, though, from Harry Lewis, and yeah, Critchell, again, didn't really have his best game. There were a couple of formers against Sutton, Chapman, where I didn't really see enough, in my opinion, but Andy Cook's goal is great play from Brad Halliday, puts a fantastic ball into the the box and he gets a front in front of his man and he does what he does scores once again against his former club and that is why you don't give him all the abuse until at least after the game because he'll go on and score that's just what Andy Cook does and then just a few moments later Jake Young does again what Jake Young does he did it uh, on Tuesday night against Sheffield Wednesday and he's done it again today picks up the ball on the left cuts in and absolutely kills one that's straight into the top corner fantastic finish and we went in at half time 2-0 up but I think a lot of the fans were really frustrated the referee was abysmal but we didn't ask, you know, that's what you're going to get with Mark Edwards, there was times where he was booking players when there weren't bookings and then there were times where he wasn't booking players when it was a clear booking for both sides as well. There was a couple of occasions where Bradford City player should have been booked and he just didn't book them. I thought it was absolutely awful once again from Mark Edwards. The goal that we concede, Chapman loses the ball and goes in and gives away a silly free kick. I don't really know what he's trying to do there. The ball comes into the box and that's exactly where you need a Jan Song or somebody who's just going to say, right, that's my ball and no matter how tall somebody is or no matter how wide somebody is, I'm going to win that. We didn't we backed off, allowed their centre half to bring it down. The other one then pokes it home, and yeah, it's just a bit frustrating. Bit of a poor goal to concede for the remainder of the game. It felt like they had a million corners, a million long throws, and it was an absolute onslaught into our penalty area. I thought we struggled at times. Keen Harrett had an opportunity to win us, well, not win us the MC of the game. There was a couple other chances in there as well. I must say, I was quite impressed with Tyreek Wright as well. But that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on their form. If you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, that'd be massive appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on today's win as well down in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching have a great rest of your day and i shall see you all very soon for another video peace